He's always messing around. Why do I feel like he's always messing around? Is that just me? We're finally back with another Inside 17. And it's the Glastonbury Festival practice sketch. Y'all know I enjoy this series a lot because I just get to see the behind the scenes for their dance practices and just how they interact with each other. And I know for you 17 stands and my subscribers, I know you guys enjoy this series. And I know it took me a while to finally release more. My bad, all right? There's a lot of videos going on and it's, just, it's hard to keep up with a lot of things, but I got y'all. So if y'all love 17, don't forget to subscribe and let's go, baby. Hit me one time, bam. <laughs> right away in the beginning of the video. We get high energy from Hoshi, dude. Ooh, Ready to Love is one of my favorite songs from 17. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I, I'm pretty sure, I, I've done a lot of breakdowns for dance practice, I know, so my bad for pausing, alright, but this specifically for this dance practice. I've done, I'm pretty sure I've done a dance practice breakdown for Ready to Love. I, I've done so many that sometimes I just can't remember which ones I've done specifically. So if you guys check out my 17 playlist or my dancer review playlist, I'm pretty sure it's there. If not, then I probably should do it. But I love this song. I freaking love this song. <laughs> I heard, yeah, the yellow shoes. I remember that shit. Oh. oh I didn't realize that, that it was during COVID. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not really surprised. That like 17 is gonna go out of their way to go ahead and relearn something that they've done a really long time ago And this is actually pretty common in dance practices in general It's just like if you're gonna repeat or just reshow something you've done in the past But you want to show it again in this present moment or like in the future Sometimes they're like you're just gonna have to watch the the video that you've had the footage that you had a long time ago to relearn the shit and normally the muscle memory is just gonna come back anyway, but it, it so that's gonna happen. I remember one time, this is a quick story that uh, my friend had asked me to teach, to teach for one of their like dance teams. And it was really last minute. And so I couldn't really choreograph a piece in time. But I remember I was like, okay, wait, I do have this one choreo that I really like. And so what I did at that day was just watch the video, relearn that entire thing and then taught it. And so it's normal. It's normal for things like this to happen. And I love that 17 did Ready to Love. Love this song. That's my King Woozy teaching them again. Damn, that's, that's my boy Woozy teaching them. <laughs> oh my god, oh my <laughs> Who is this dance academy is always bustling <laughs> He's got a lot of students <laughs> So that's another thing with uh, relearning something that you've done in the past is that with dancers too like uh, there's things where we just do and it's just like it's just called retention and sometimes it just comes back to you most people there are a lot of friends that i know for some reason they have really great retention they just remember old choreography from a long time ago and i'm like how do you still remember that and i feel like that's the if you for the k-pop community i think if you guys have watched videos from like random dance plays or all, all those type of things and i watch people do all these the, the the choreo from like each generation of of k-pop dances i'm like how the fuck you like do you guys remember all that shit so it's like retention is like the word for it if you guys didn't know and i love this i love this i love that we get to see this i know i just been kind of interrupting all this shit for you guys but it's just i love talking about this stuff and you know it's just it's so relatable to me to be honest you know in a way in a way i'm not an idol <laughs> 
무섭다면서 이 지금 30분 만에 2절 끝내가고 있습니다. 너무 좋은 팬분들이 많기 때문에. Yeah, I'm ready to love. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. <웃음> 다시 다 멤버들이 좋아하고 팬데믹 때 저희가 yeah, I didn't realize that the song was in the pandemic. 리더선 때도 하긴 했는데 풀 안무를 제대로 딱 뭔가 보여드린 적이 없어서 연습을 하고 있는 또 노래가 또 새삼 또 좋네. I gotta be messing around like that, bro. I like. I love how they turn to Woozy too. Damn! Damn! That's actually crazy. Like realize that they they still have to perform other songs too, and so I, I forget that sometimes. Like where I get so focused on that they're practicing on one song, but because they're you know an idol group, they gotta perform hella songs, right? And them going on a break and then having seeing Hoshi and Woozy just practice that dance break for Maestro is just crazy to me. Like their work ethic, man, freaking freaking seventeen, bro, freaking seventeen. <laughs> I'm ready to love and make it my angel. Can we stay together? Damn. Can we stay together? Chill. Why do I not know how to do my memory? Yes, Woozy. You got that retention. Yeah, 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 you got I hope to see Woozy one day, or obviously Seventeen live one day. You guys could tell who my bias is at this point. And uh, hey, for those of you guys going to the concert, you know, let me know. I'm still trying to, you know, get a ticket. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was unable to purchase tickets, so I will have to try and get lucky and see if I can buy some as the time gets closer. And if you guys didn't know, I'm trying to go to the LA one. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if I can get one. Instructor Woozy, I love that. Okay. Oh. コンサートってバラでこういろんなことやってるんで、自分でチェガボ、やかんセントロダウテンのブロコンチュムチョジョアンのイミジャーナイオ。これそう、コイヘンデランデコンデコンデコンデコンデコンデコンデコンデコンデ
직선으로 들어가서 계속 부딪히는 거 같거든요. 너가 살짝 앞 주위가 이렇게 이렇게 들어가지고. That's another thing. That is another thing with dance practice. And why this is so important, how they just did all of that, and how they're discussing traffic issues. So there's going to be a lot of times when you're first, even if you're relearning staging or blocking stuff or learning new formations, there's going to be traffic issues. So this is going to be up to the dancers. In this case, it's going to be up to 17 to discuss like, oh, I need to travel in this way, in this way, in this way, so that way when we get to our spots, we don't run into each other. And this is why they discuss that. And that, that's that's so relatable to me because that's happened to me so many times where I might bump into one of my teammates because uh, I wasn't looking or we didn't discuss how we were actually going to get to the spots. Therefore, we just bump into each other. And that's exactly what happens sometimes. And I love that they show this. <laughs> Why do they have a net? <laughs> Random ass net in the back. You see that shit? Wait, bad me back there? Yo, what's up? Glass don't bury. I'm so very happy. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow, Damn. Straight rehearsing every single day, bro. That's the king, baby. It's so crazy how like how tight their schedules are. It just doesn't stop, you know what I mean? The fact that he's coming from the fact that DK is coming from somewhere else too, like it's not like he came, he went to rehearsal and that's the first thing he did during the day. He had he had like what he said in the he said I have work to do in the morning or whatever right before rehearsal. Now I'm here. Like, that's crazy, bro. He's <laughs> got so much energy too. He's always messing around. Why do I feel like he's always messing around? Is that just me? For for anyone that's been watching Seventeen, I feel like he's always messing around. <laughs> I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I just think it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> oh my god. 
Just my favorite dance break that I've learned from 17 was Maestro's dance break. And that was like the first thing that I, oh my God. Sorry, I got distracted, but there's a spider on my curtain. So I just guess I'll, I'll get it after the video. If you don't see me from me. Okay, okay, if you guys don't see from me after this video, it's a spider. All right, it's a spider's fault. Anyway, the, the, the Maestro dance break was so fun to learn because it was just really fast. And I, I remember the music video came out. I went after the video, I recorded my reaction and then I went to the gym and I learned it. And I was like, yo, I'm tired as hell because the, the, the choreography is really straightforward. However, it's just really fast and there are switch ups within the actual footwork that they do, which also makes it difficult. But it was really fun. One of my favorite dance breaks. Just fun fact, want to share with y'all. Shall we go to our next stage? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I've always really wanted to be a part of a, a, a K-pop group's just rehearsal. Preparing for a show, just wanted to see how it feels like. I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, damn. I always have a good time watching Inside 17 and how they just go about things and their interactions. So if y'all love 17, oh, actually, if you guys are going to the concert, let me know. I'm still trying to secure some tickets. So if I do end up going, you know, say hi. Say hi. If I end up going. But anyway, if y'all love 17, don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.